So I've advanced the probe into the mid-right atrium. Uh, Jim, why don't you give us a, a, a scenic tour uh, okay. with intracardiac echo? So as Sam has shown you, this is the Akinav 8 French 64 slice phased array system, uh, runs at 8 megahertz. The important thing to remember is the imaging plane comes out the side of the probe, not the end. So we're looking out to the side of the probe. So the tip of the probe is pointing towards the aortic route, and we're imaging down across the right atrium to the tricuspid valve and through to the right ventricle. The simplest maneuver to do first is just to slowly rotate the whole probe clockwise. So this is the home position. So tricuspid valve in view, bit of right ventricle, and we can see the RVOT. I'm just going to roll very gently clockwise. We can now see the long axis of the aortic valve. The nearest cusp to us in this view is the non-coronary cusp. The cusp on the other side is the right coronary cusp. And just on the left of the screen, you can see the mouth of the coronary sinus. I'm just going to rotate slightly further clockwise, just very gentle movements. We've now got a bit of atrial septum coming into view. And if I go a little bit further clockwise, the mitral valve will come into view at the bottom right of the screen. just there behind a little bit of fat in the septum. There's the mitral valve at the bottom there. Left atrial appendage sits in the far field and it's difficult to see from this window. Just gone past it there. And now we have the right, left, left, upper and left, lower pulmonary veins in view at the bottom right of the screen. If we keep rolling clockwise, we then see the posterior wall of the left atrium. I'm just gonna advance the probe slightly as I rotate further. Some fat in the secundum septum here, slightly obscuring the view. The right pulmonary veins are just sitting there in the far field. SVC coming in at the top. And as we keep rotating round, we should end up then back where we started at the home view, which is just here. So just by simply rotating around the right atrium, you can see a lot of structures of the heart and just get your orientation. To see the atrial septum, you have to go clockwise from the home view about 30 to 40 degrees past the aorta and here's the atrial septum coming into view here to help lift you away you just put some posterior tilt on which is rotating the most proximal wheel towards you so usually just with your thumb and you can make the septum quite horizontal there and we can see this gentleman has a clear and obvious pfo you can see the septum lifting off there and you can rotate past it just to track round the sort of postural lateral aspect of the septum and rotate back round and really looking at the inferior septum here making sure there's no other defects or problems if we come back to the home view the next maneuver you can do here is to see if you can enter the right ventricle and look at the left ventricle behind we're just seeing some of the right coronary artery coming into view there just around the tricuspid valve so i'm just going to return to the home view and reset caught up on the station valve there. There we go. So now I'm going to put some anterior, tip the tricuspid valve over to the right hand side of the screen. Keep putting anterior on, just gently advancing the probe. And as long as the, the thing at the far right hand side of the screen is, is black, you're safe to just gently advance. So we're just heading towards the tricuspid valve now. That's tricuspid valve in view. Quite a narrow tricuspid orifice here. We're just going to just gently advance and see if we can enter the right ventricle which we have done there it's important not to to push too hard and just be relaxed and gentle once you're through the tricuspid valve you can release the flexion we're now looking down through the tricuspid valve we can see the anterior leaflet there heading down towards an rv papillary muscle and i'm just going to just fine tune the flexion see if i can go a little bit further in we're now in the body of the rv and now i'm just going to relax the flexion and then hopefully the probe will sit up into the RVOT, which it's trying to do here. So now we're looking at the RV free wall, probably moderator band we're seeing on the right-hand side of the screen there. And I'm just going to rotate clockwise. And what we should see coming into view next is part of the left ventricle. So we can see the septum there. So there's the left ventricle. And this is an unusual view because you're looking at the left ventricle through the septum and through the right ventricle. And because the eyes probe tends to rest up against the septum, you, you can look at the ventricle and see what looks like wall motion abnormalities, but they're not. It's just because the relative motion of the probe to the septum is unusual and not what we're used to looking at. There's a nice view of the postural lateral papillary muscle and the second papillary muscle there. And there's the LVOT coming into view with the mitral valve 
opposite. And if I keep rotating, we'll go through the aortic root. And the next thing we're going to see here is the pulmonary valve coming into view clearly here in the pulmonary artery. Now we're looking down through the pulmonary valve, down to the pulmonary artery, and you can see the pulmonary bifurcation at the bottom right there. I'm just going to keep rotating round, long axis view of the aorta. I'm just going to withdraw slightly and just see if I can settle on a short axis view of the aortic valve. There's the aortic valve coming into you. It's quite an unstable position in this gentleman, so I've just slipped off, but you can often find a nice aortic valve short axis view. That's a long axis view of the aorta, which some people advocate using for, for TAVI procedures or paravalve elite closure. I'm just going to slide back up into the right atrium now and return to our starting position. And there we are back in our home view. So to come back to the atrial septum from the home view, let's get clear of the Chiari again. So it's a clockwise roll about 30 degrees past the aorta and then some big wheel towards you to put some posterior tilt on. And when you've got the view, you can put the lock on and that should leave the view relatively stable for the remainder of the procedure. So I'm going to release it there.